You ever wonder how black people really perceive their lives? Hey, look at me. I'm in first place. I'm winning. In reality, we always the first ones at the bottom. Have you ever been in a race that you're so far behind that you think you're up front winning the race? I'm so far ahead in this race. I got time to stop and take another nap. But in reality, our dumbasses is just the first one of the people in last place. One of the greatest failures in life is to be successful in all the things that don't count. The number one group of male earners in this country is the Asians. The Asian male earns about 110K a year. Less than 1% of black men make 100K a year. But there is success in this assessment. Now in California, to house one male inmate for a year is about $106,000. So the only way that a black male can be monetarily as much as an Asian male is to be in prison. I can't understand for the life of me why our kids are so enamored and glorified, uninspiring black celebrities like rappers, comedians, and singers. They seem to offer no real hope. They say that 44% of black males that when they are in the third grade and they are reading below grade average, they say they will never go to college and have literacy problems their entire lives. Then when they get grown, they go out and get tattoos in Japanese writing. Why would you do that? Your dumb ass can't even read English good. Ain't no telling what that tattoo really says. We as a people are so controlled my question is, how can we live a life that's so out of control? Our food, housing, income, education, and health care is controlled. Seems like the last thing we should have time for is people like rappers. Now, don't get me wrong. I didn't say you couldn't like them. But the problem is the glorification and the idolatry. They say that the birth of rap music came directly from the womb of a strong, single, independent black woman. Now she didn't need a man, and they say that that sentiment is taught to her kids. Now the kids reject male authority too, especially black male authority. But this is the paradox of rap music. When you listen to rap music, don't they say the nastiest things about black women? Women just like their mothers but they glorify things like pimps. Now this is when it gets good. The media will have you thinking that any black man dressed a certain way is a pimp. They will also have you thinking that all these guys that traffic kids and traffic women, they're pimps. Really, those are nothing but hoodlum criminals that are committing crimes against people at a massive scale. All you players out there, I'm sorry to bust your bubble, but 99.9% of men can't be pimps. Now, I grew up in a black city, Memphis, Tennessee, and I saw this with my own eyes. If you have a million people in a city, you will only have 10 to 20 real pimps, and they all know each other. Anybody else is just an old dude out there taking advantage of his girlfriend got her doing some unthinkable things with other men. Now, these 10 to 20 pimps will only turn out 20 to 40 new women a year. Everybody else is recycled. What I'm really trying to say is this. A pimp might turn out a handful of holes in a year. But rap music, it takes women and make all of them holes. How in the world has this crap run for 50 years? Rap music is like the transgender genre of music. I mean, somebody else made the music and there's identity problems all after that. The low standards set by rap music actually represents us today. 
Let me show you how. Hey, look, there's the Asian delegation. They're sending their best scientists, engineers, and business people to meet with the president. Hey, look, they're the people from mainstream America. Now, we always know they always send their best scientists, engineers, and business people to meet with the president. Hey, there's the Indian community. Now, we know that they're going to send their best scientists, engineers, and business people to meet with the president. Oh, God. Now, now there's the black delegation. And we know that, 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 that. We're doomed. Oh, wow. And they bought the president a peace offering. We're fortunate enough to live in a country with a capitalistic system that has a self-correcting mechanism. And that mechanism is education. A dollar only spends six hours in the black community. And without education, all of our money goes directly back into the hands of the rich. We need to focus more on math, science, English, and being better business people. In schools now, the little smart boy gets bullied and rejected. But even worse, our good people sit back and cowardly say nothing. And you can best believe that a new day is on the horizon.